It's almost Valentine's Day. This year, instead of giving her a rose bouquet, I wanted to express my love by gifting her an electronic breathing heart. This is yet another cheap DIY kit intended for educational purpose. There are a few variations of the breathing LED project with similar setup. However, the one with the blue LEDs attracted me a lot. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay specializes in manufacturing of very high quality, low volume, colored PCBs at a very budgetary price. In addition to standard PCBs, you can order advanced PCBs, aluminum PCBs, rigid flex PCBs. They also provide PCB assembly and other related services which can meet your need at the greatest extent. Same as any other cheap DIY kit, this one came in a Ziploc bag without any instructions. However, the component values and polarities are very well denoted on the board. Inside the Ziploc bag you'll find 1 LM358IC, 22 LEDs, 6 resistors, 147 microfarad capacitor, 1 push button switch, 1 adjustable tripod and 1 8050 NPN transistor. There is no IC base present in this package. However, I would highly recommend using one for your IC. To get the fading effect, we need to generate a series of triangular waves. Because of the triangular waves, the LED starts glowing slowly and then slowly dims off and the cycle continues. This setup is done using the LM358 IC. LM358 is a dual operational amplifier IC integrated with two op amps powered by a common power supply. Pin number 1, 2 and 3 are one op amp channel and pin number 5, 6, 7 are the second op amp channel. As the capacitor charges and discharges, the state of the pin number 3 switches from high to low and based on that, the pin number 2 of the op-amp obtains the desired output. If you want to know more about this IC, please check out my tutorial number 21, DIY IR module. The link is in the description below. So basically, the op-amp here is used for voltage level detection. In our circuit, we are applying a voltage on the positive pin, pin number 3, and the voltage to be detected is applied on the negative pin, pin number 2. The transistor acts as a signal amplifier you will need this if you are attaching a cluster of leds however just for one led you can simply remove it soldering the components to the board was pretty straightforward and relatively trouble free i just had to pay a bit of attention to the direction of the components when soldering them to the board i started the project by soldering the ic base to the board followed by the capacitor transistor port and the push button switch Next, I soldered all the resistors to the board. After that, I soldered all the LEDs to the board. Due to the repetitive nature of the LED installation, the installation may slightly be tedious. However, once you finish soldering all the components, I bet you'll feel proud of yourself. Not to mention, the Ziploc bag contains a few spare LEDs. Hmm, a thoughtful addition. So this is how it looks like. The effect is a blue heart that increases and decreases in brightness in a cyclic fashion. The speed can be adjusted using the onboard port. Now that I have all the electronics bits sorted, it was time for me to add the accessories to it. Something just clicked in my mind and I went ahead and cut a heart shape from a piece of pallet plank. I will later stick the circuit board to this heart shaped pallet plank. Sanding the plank well and adding a bit of olive oil gave the heart shape a shiny, nice and smooth texture. For the rest of the project, I'm using a dog made of clay and some broken pieces of artificial plants. It totally depends on you, what you want to add to give your project a super sexy look. Now to house all the bits and pieces that I gathered so far, I need to create a base. For that, I'm cutting a 6 inch by 3.5 inch pallet plank. All the bits and pieces will be glued to this pallet plank. I drilled a hole in the middle of the wooden heart. Through the hole I will pass the wire that will power the circuit board. The power supply to the board is between 4 to 6 volt DC. Any USB interface or three ordinary dry cells can be used to power this board. Supply voltage to the red LED version is slightly lower than any other colored LEDs. A 4 volt power supply can power the red version. However, other colors need voltage between 4, 5 and 6 volts. Alright, so now it's just a matter of gluing all the bits and pieces one by one to the base pallet plank. When you're young and restless, Valentine's Day plays a significant role in your life. However, if you are deeply in love with someone who you are going to spend the rest of your life with, every day becomes a Valentine's Day for you. 
Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.